Hi guys. It's Annette. Oh no. I don't know, it's stupid. Hi guys. It's Annette and Thomas. Oh, Tom, Tom. I normally don't make videos like this. And I think it's just very helpful for people like me who dye their hair a lot. Um, it's a frugal way. I think these hair companies are making too much money for something that could be way easier than it is. I apologize for the audio. I know it sounds horrible in here, being it the bathroom and all. I couldn't find a video exactly like this online. I'm familiar with dyeing my hair pink. I've dyed my hair pink a lot. But I wasn't looking for a fuchsia pink. I want more of a salmon flamingo but I guess rose gold a pink that has more orangey tones in it not so much fuchsia in your face neon like when it fades it's almost like a skin color like pinky orangey color something more neutral and subtle <laughs> okay if you're already familiar with hair color you can totally skip through this part it might be helpful for some people um I use semi-permanent, demi-permanent, demi, -per demi, -permanent, demi <laughs> um, hair color. I'm really digging this Ion Color Brilliance Shine stuff from Sally's. Um, any kind of semi, demi, demi, <laughs> I did it again. You're going to not need any developer or um, developer. What's the word? Yeah, developer, you're not going to be using any peroxide, anything damaging. This is like a really pretty bluish purple. This is the purple I've been using normally to get my hair more of the white, gray, take the copper out of, you know, the brassiness. So I have been doing a lot of the purple. So these are ready to use. You put them on dry, unwashed hair. And then the color you bought is the color it's going to come out. So you can buy one of these. And they're usually on sale for less than $10. Buy one, get one free at Sally's. There's usually some kind of good deal going on. But still, that's $10. And I have not long hair, but I have tons of hair. So one of these is not going to do it for my hair. And especially when you're buying a pastel color, it's going to be pastel. Well, why not buy a dark color, use a pea size of it, and use conditioner so you get the color you want, and you don't have to keep buying another $10 bottle. That's what I normally do. Then you get about like three different colors out of it because you can start a little darker and then when it fades, it's the color you wanted for about a week or a couple weeks. And then when it's like faded out more, it's very subtle. It's like three different hues. <laughs> Sorry about the audio and the lighting changing. I'm on my iPad now. Hopefully it's easier for you guys to understand me. So what I'm basically trying to say is instead of buying a whole tube for just one hair dye, you can buy an intense dark color and dilute it with conditioner. The conditioner you use is important as well. You're gonna use a lot, you're gonna use a lot of conditioner, so you're gonna go through it. Two reasons why you need cheap conditioner. Cheap conditioner has some kind of ingredient in it that sticks and it sticks to your hair better with the color. I think it's like silicone or something. So the good reasons is we're not going to be spending a lot of money on hair dye anymore, but we are going to be spending a lot on getting conditioner because you're going to be doing this a couple times um, a month maybe. So we're going to have to go through a lot of cheap. If you use expensive conditioner, one, you're wasting your conditioner, two, it's not going to stay as long. So I love Tresemme anyway. When I had long hair, I would spend so much on hair products. But now that my hair is short, I feel like I don't need to because it looks healthy all the time anyway. Um, except for right now, 
because I just blow dry it. Do it on dirty hair, even though I just washed my hair this morning. Do as I say, not as I do. Shout out to Tresemme. They smell so good. <laughs> like, can, or you can use like Suave, White Rain. Do they even make that anymore? When I am dyeing my hair like this, I normally don't wear gloves. I usually have a whole thing of big gloves, like a like a tissue box of gloves. But with the conditioner, um, it's not gonna stain your hands. If it does, they'll look normal most likely the next day. I just do such pastel colors that it's not, it might show that your nails stain a little bit, but you wake up, they're fine. After a shower, they're good. So you can use gloves if you want. Of course, you're gonna need a mixing bowl and a brush. Okay, I know you see the toilet. I apologize. I have to put my toilet paper there because the cat's. So I was gonna run out and buy red dye, but then I realized I have this really old stuff. Um, I used to use this. I think you could get it at Sally's. Um, of course, you can use like Manic Panic. I just like, Manic Panic bottles are messy. But so far, my favorite is this one, but I still have plenty of this. We're literally going to use a dime size, not dime size, less than, we're just gonna like, I'll show you. All right guys, so see, we got a lot of conditioner. This is where we decide what, um, what color our hair is gonna be, because if we add too much, guess what? That's what color your hair is gonna be. So, I really don't want to add too much, but I might actually have to just because I wanted to show on, up on camera. I literally use that much. Okay, so this is actually the color I wanted, but it's not showing up on camera, so I don't mind doing a little darker. Um, I think this color is great that we're transitioning into fall and it's like a little sunset fall moment. Oh, okay, so yeah, we're going darker. And um, I'm out of conditioner, I think I used it all, so we can't dilute it anymore. So let's see what this turns out like. I even added more so we can see it better. Um, the reason why we want to use red and not a pink is it's going to give us that color we want. It's going to be more of a flamingo color, a rose gold. It's not going to be so much in your face fuchsia. Remember when you were little and you would mix red paint with white paint, you would get a pastel -y pink. It's the same thing we're doing here. And when you do this, any color you do, you can leave it in from 15 minutes to an hour. You can even leave it longer if you forget. It's just conditioner. It's not going to ruin your hair. It's just like a deep um, treatment conditioner kind of thing. Um, when it comes to pink normally though, to be completely honest, when I do the pink in my hair, I don't leave it in very long. Um, I usually put it in, and as long as it takes me to put it in, I wash it out. I don't know if it's the red pigment or what. It takes pretty fast. I don't know, I might leave this one in for a while. So I'm gonna do a time lapse of me putting it in because that's gonna be the boring part. If you guys can tell in the mirror, I put up a standing mirror right here so I can like, so I can see the back of my head.
get your baby hairs. I'm just mixing in the remainder of the ends. This is also a good idea if you're sick and tired of trying to get out the brassiness to like welcome the brassiness with just like a little, a little mauve moment. And I should have said this at the beginning, this is, you know, I'm not sure if I did say it, but if your hair, this is good if your hair is bleached. Of course, if your hair is like a dark color, it's not going to show up vibrant. So it's, you know, if you have that bleach blonde hair. Okay, there's another Annette in there. I see you. I see you, Annette. All right, I think I have it all. I have a lot of roots growing out right now, but actually with the pink, you'll see when it done, when, when it done, it, it really looks cool. I am gonna bleach my roots this coming week, so this is probably a waste, but. And here's after. Hi guys. So this is how it turned out. It's a little streaky, but I like it like that. Like natural hair. Each strand is not the same color. So I just blue dry it. I didn't like style it or anything, but I'm liking it. Okay, so the longer you leave it in, the more intense it's going to be. If you wash it out with cold water, it's going to stay longer. So I left it in for less than 10 minutes and I washed it out with hot water. I don't want it to last that long. I'm probably going to do blue in a week or so. I think after a couple washes, it's going to be more of the color I was going for. And if you like this video, please um, hit like so I would know to make more of these if you guys want to see when I do the blue hair. And if this helped one person, then it's worth it. I hope you guys had fun. Have fun with your hair. I know a lot of people get scared, but it's really just hair. Let me know what color I should try next. If I don't want to do blue, purple, you know, just as long as you have conditioner and the few basic colors, they're going to last a very long time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like. I love you guys. Bye.